Hello everybody, welcome back. I want to talk a bit about missiles today. The missiles of Star Citizen are a great weapon system that is mostly used in Arena Commander right now, but can be used in the Persistent Universe as well, offensively, but also defensively, in order to scare away opponents and help you survive an encounter. I believe that with more content being added to the Persistent Universe and the Stardom system, become bigger and bigger, more fleshed out, the missiles, the missile system is going to become an integral part of our loadouts in order to not only survive in the verse, in the persistent universe, but also thrive. So it will be nice to know how these missiles work and how we can use them effectively. The first thing we need to understand about missiles, in my opinion the easiest one as well, is how the missile racks are working. Missile racks will allow you to carry a certain amount and size of missiles and like with any other weapon in the game they have a certain size of their own and can be equipped at a specific point on your vessels. This system is a quite easy way to help you understand how to use missiles, what kind of missiles you can use and how you create an effective and deadly loadout. In order to distinguish the missile racks and know what they can do and what they cannot carry, they are described with a three digit number. The first digit is showing the size of the missile rack and at what hard point it can be equipped on your vessel. The second digit is showing you how many missiles it can carry and the third digit is showing you the size of the missiles it can carry. So for example, a 313 missile rack is a size 3 missile rack that can carry one size 3 missile. Like this it is very easy to understand what kind of missiles you can carry with your vessels and what you can do with them out there. So we can create a loadout where we will have few but very strong size 3 or size 4 missiles or we can go with many size 1 or size 2 missiles that are not as powerful. The missiles themselves have their own unique characteristics from the different size they have, the different damage they can do and of course the different signature type they are tracking, they are following. Starting from size 1 up to size 9 which is torpedo territory, we have some significant differences. As we grow on size, then we go on damage as well, but we also have to wait more time for the missile to lock the target before we can launch it. And the ignition time is also longer. Ignition time is the time that it will take to the missile to start propelling itself towards your target from the moment you have deployed it. This time can be up to 4-5 seconds when we are talking for the bigger in size missiles and it is something that you will need to consider depending on your targets, depending on what you are fighting against. The bigger the size of a missile, the bigger the damage it can do, but also the longer it takes for the missile to lock your target before we can deploy it. So it really depends on the size of your enemies and what kind of targets you are after when you are choosing what kind of missiles you are going to bring with you. If you know that you are going to fight against small, fast and agile enemies then smaller size of missiles are going to be enough, are going to be really helpful because they can lock your targets fast and they can follow them easier. And bigger missiles and torpedoes will be great against bigger targets that I can't say we really have many big targets right now in the game, but hopefully we will see that kind of gameplay later when we will start getting bigger and better protected vessels in the persistent universe. Something else that is very different at each missile is how they are tracking your targets, what kind of signature they are tracking. Right now as we know we have in game three main signature types, EM electromagnetic, IR infrared and cross section. And because of this we also have three different types of missiles, missiles that can track EM, IR and cross section signatures. This is another way to figure out what kind of missiles you want to use at each and every time depending on the stronger signature of your enemy. So if a target in front of you has a strong EM signature it will be wise to use a missile that can track that signature and will have better success at hitting your target. 
In general, if you know beforehand what kind of enemies you are going to fight, what size of enemies, with what type of signature they have, it will be easy to figure out what kind of missiles you can bring with you and be a lot more effective. But as we are getting more content in the game and the probability of encountering many different enemies in the persistent universe will increase, it will be wise to have more than one type and size of missiles with you, especially if you have enough space to carry more than one type and size of missiles. This is why missile platforms, vessels that can work as missile platforms, like the Freelancer MIS, are going to be a very good option for that kind of gameplay. Now let's talk a bit more specific about the different sizes of missiles. In the size 1 category, the Marksman missile, which is an IR signature missile, has the best damage and it is quite reliable. It's not enough to destroy a target, but you can have a lot more of these missiles and you can try to swarm your enemies, try to hit them with multiple missiles at the same time and destroy them as fast as possible. They are fast missiles, not the fastest in the category, but they have the biggest damage and they can lock very fast your target and deploy them. In the size 2 category I do like the Dominator 2 missile, which is an EM missile. It has the highest damage in the category and also is the fast one. It will take some more time to lock than with the size 1 missiles, but it is a quite reliable size 2 missile. In the size 2 category again I also like the Rattler 2 missile, which is an one of a kind missile that divides itself to smaller warheads and hit its target multiple times in order to destroy it. It is an IR type of missile and it is also quite reliable. These two first categories of size 1 and size 2 missiles have many options to choose from. In the other categories, size 3, size 4, size 5 and size 9, we only have three missiles at each category, one missile for each type of signature. They are all very strong for their size, for their category, and depending on what kind of enemies, with what kind of signature you are going after, it will be wise to choose and use the appropriate one. But they are all quite reliable, they are all quite strong, and they can be quite efficient for their size. In the size 3 category, I really like the Thunderbolt 3 missile, I think it is the most balanced option but you can use also the Arrester and the Viper 3 and have the same good results. This is pretty much what you need to know about missiles in Star Citizen right now. They have different size, they can be equipped at a different missile rack that can go at specific hard points on your vessels, and the smaller in size, the faster they can lock and hit your target, but as we grow in size, the missiles will have better damage and will take a lot more time to lock your target, deploy them and a bigger ignition time as well. Depending on your goals and what you want to achieve right now in the verse and of course later, it will be very smart to take a look at these missiles and choose the one that you think will fit your loadout the most and will be the most effective against your targets. Like I said before, right now we don't have many big targets in game, but this is going to change sometime in the future, so torpedoes and the missiles of bigger size are going to become an integral part of the gameplay and a very reliable weapon to destroy your opponents. What do you think of missiles right now in the game? Do you use them a lot in the Persistent Universe or the Arena Commander? We'd love to know your opinion, we'd love to know what you think about the missiles and the missile rack system as it is right now. Thank you very much for joining me, if you enjoyed the video please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more, I am Squid of Love and I will see you around the verse, bye bye.